Hey guys, welcome back. So, this is going to be part two of the log series. Uh, so, as you can see, we have our silicone log mold. And as promised, I didn't clean it. So, uh, what we have over here is six ounces of our Fooey Tomb 1 to 1 uh, epoxy resin. And I'm going to be adding two colors of mica powder. One my, both of them are from uh, HTV Want. This is golden, and that one is brown. So, ooh, I'm almost out of my golden. What am I going to do? So just have a little scoopy doodle here. One more little scoop of golden. And then... slightly larger but mainly the same size scoop of brown. Now as this is a tree, uh, and it came from a tree. I cast it from a log. Uh, it is not going to be shiny. It is going to be matte. Uh, it's going to be tree-flavored, if you will. Uh, so I'm not particularly worried about running my resin through my uh, bubble remover. Because if there are a few bubbles in there, honestly, you're not really going to see them because of the texture of the mold and also the fact that it is matte. So I'm not going to be uh, quite as uh, pedantic about uh, running it through the uh, bubble remover. Now, what you'll also see over here is a silicone stopper, boom, whatever you want to call it, uh, that I made out of a small silicone uh, mixing cup and I have glued it basically to the top of a popsicle stick. And what I'm going to be using that for is to put it in the middle here to give us a reservoir for um, making a candle holder out of it if you want to or just any sort of holder of choice. Uh, now since I'm making this out of resin of course, I'm going to say, don't put a real candle in it. Um, you're going to want to use an LED candle. Now, also, since this is obviously the first time that we've used this mold, I'm not entirely sure how much resin it's going to take. So, I mixed up six ounces um, to begin with. It might take more, it might take less. We'll figure it out once we get our little silicone stopper in there. So, now that we've gotten all of our color mixed in, I'm going to go ahead and pour in some of the resin, maybe all of it, yeah, all of it, ooh, it's a big old mold, look at that, ooh, there's a big old mold. Now, also, if you don't want to pour that much resin in uh, to make that big of a candle holder, you don't have to, that's the beauty of it. You can pour it up as tall as you want it to, and then, you know, put your little stopper in, and there you go. You know, you, you have options. So, what I'm going to do first is, and then I'm going to make another decision, is see how far down our little stopper goes. And it goes all, okay, all right, I'm good with that. It goes most of the way. We don't need any more red, honestly. Uh, there is maybe not even my pinky nail left unfilled. So I think that that's a good height. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, and then that way I'll have a nice tree stopper. Uh, 
uh, or tree stopper, listen to me, uh, tree <sighs> candle mold, candle holder mold, and uh, yeah. And if I wanted to, ooh, I just had another idea. Hmm. We'll see how my brain plays out on that one. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to let this do its thing. We're going to let it cure and get all beautiful and fabulous. And I will see you guys for the demo. See you then. Hey, all right. So it is time to uh, get this out to unmold a tree. Uh, I already took out the middle bit, the uh, silicone stopper that I put in the middle, um, just because it was a little difficult to get out. So, and it honestly wasn't that exciting. Uh, so yeah, let's demold this guy. And again, this was made straight from a log, so it is going to be matte or satin or mm, whatever you want to call it. It's not going to be shiny. And you can also see that I added some uh, green to the top. But that was just uh, about an ounce and a half of uh, my just regular one-to-one -one resin, and I added about four drops of my ranger alcohol ink in mojito so I'm be careful And because this is very textured, I am trying to be very careful to not, uh, you know, take off any knuckle skin. But if I do, that's okay. That's why God created band-aids, right? All right, there we go. Mold it out. Mmm. Look. Look like a tree. And that is super cool. <laughs> I like that. That is very awesome. Lots of texture. You can see some of the wood bits came out uh, into the resin, which I think is awesome. Love that color. Now the top, of course, you know, we have that lip. Um, so... What I can do, if I want to, is just sand that down, use a deburring tool or whatever, and just go around that. Uh, but yeah, I think that looks really, really cool. Look at that. Very awesome. All right, so now, of course, oh, tea light. This is resin. If you make this something like this out of resin, like a tea light holder or a candle holder, please do not use an actual, real wax candle. Um, not smart. Uh, the resin will get way too hot. It can potentially burn. So if you are going to use resin to make tea light holders or candle holders or whatever, please just use LED lights. Um, so here we have our little tea light. Let me put that in there. And we have a lovely green glow. Let me turn off my big overhead light here. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I really like the way that that turned out. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I would love to know. Um, my next uh, experiment with this particular roll is going to be eco resin. So, that will be. Part three of Project Tree. I like it. I really do. It's very, very, very neat. I like the way it turned out. So anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it and I hope to see you again in the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers. <laughs>